Welcome to the Seller Roundtable e-commerce coaching and business strategies with Andy Arnott and Amy Wees. So Deanna, what social media platforms do you primarily work on and why? Okay. So, um, there's two, we, I mean, we can do it. We can do all the social media programs prop platforms, but I like to focus on two primarily for the customers we get, which are all either print on demand or e-commerce, um, people. Um, and the one is Pinterest and Pinterest is more of a search engine than it is a social media account, but it often gets lumped in with social media account. Um, but so Pinterest we like because once you put your pins in there with the great description and everything, they're discoverable forever. Yes. They don't, they don't pop up as high on the algorithm uh, of new searches, you know, the older the pin gets, but it's still there. It is still discoverable. And so every three months or so, your best seller products you want to make brand new pins for um, to, you know, to keep building on that popularity. But everything that you build is, is there forever and is searchable forever. So um, we like that for uh, Pinterest. And then the second one is Instagram. And it's because Instagram is one of the most popular um, social media um, platforms right now. Um, and it's becoming more and more of a place where people can shop from because it wasn't before. It was all just pretty pictures. And all you could really do with Instagram was brand yourself um, and interact with your, your customers, but you had no way of really selling because all you had is this one bio link <laughs> that you could point everybody to. Um, and then it evolved and there were some third party services you could get extra links in your bio. Um, and then they, um, launched product tagging. So, um, if you have 10,000 or more, um, followers, then you get a swipe up feature in stories where you can link to anything you want. But if you don't have, if you're ever, so that cuts out everyone who doesn't have 10,000 followers or less, which is the majority of people, um, they had no way of advertising without paying. Um, so when product tagging came along, that was really big for all print on demand and all e-commerce because now you could have a link right on your posts or your story posts that can go right to your product. Um, once they, once they developed that, it was like a day and night change over where traffic from my personal stuff comes from. So a majority of my print on demand personal products are sold through Instagram right now. Thanks for tuning in. Join us every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for live Q&A and bonus content after the recording at sellerroundtable.com. Sponsored by the ultimate software tool for Amazon sales and growth, sellerseo.com and amazingathome.com.